Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're going to take a look at authoring a DVD. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. First program, or part one of the process, is we will be using Adobe Premiere Pro. So to begin with, um, we're going to open up Premiere. Um, if you haven't opened the program before or used it, this is what the icon looks like for CS6. And we're going to go ahead and start a new project. And it's going to ask us a whole bunch of questions about what our new project is. Um, the main thing is, is that we're going to set it up according to the first clip that we drag in there. So I'm going to keep all this exactly the same. I can name my project. Um, let's call it sample here. And then we're going to click OK. Keep in track where it's going to save to. And OK. Now it's going to ask us if we're going to be importing a large amount of video in that. This is where we would go ahead and choose that preset here. Um, we can go ahead and go with any one of these settings for now because again we're going to customize it according to our first clip. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And here we've got the window for Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, um, we've been used to working in Final Cut, so I want to just give a quick preview of what's going on. Uh, we've got a little experience in After Effects, and you'll see some similarities between the two. Uh, we've got a project area where we'll be dragging our stuff into. Um, we've got a number of different tabs in that area, none of which we'll actually get to, so I'm not going to talk about them today. Um, so for the project area, that's kind of the starting point for us. What we want to do is we want to start dragging in the items that are going to be in our DVD. So all the different tracks here. So let's uh, go ahead and start grabbing some videos, drag those in here. And I'm just going to drop them into the project area. It's going to import them. And let's grab another one here. Drag that one in. And one last one here, just so you get an idea here. Drag that one in. All right, now from here, depending on the order that I want them to play in the DVD, I'm going to go ahead and drag them into my timeline. I'm just going to throw them on the video one layer, and I'm going to line them up at the very beginning. Now here's the part where I said we're going to customize according to our clips. Um, I've been exporting everything at uh, 1080p, 29.97 frames per second, so I'm going to change the sequence settings here so that they match my project. Now that that's done, go ahead and drag in the remainder of the clips. And I line them up right at the end. You can see the little snapping here where it grabs onto the end, just like Final Cut. And let's grab the last one and drag that in. Okay, so you get kind of the idea here. We've got three different tracks that are laid in here. Now at this point, um, after I get everything arranged into my DVD, and um, I've got all the different pieces that are actually going to be in there, I'm going to save my project first. And this is just kind of a precaution in case you kind of mess some stuff up on the uh, chapters along the way. Next step. Right at the beginning of the project, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a chapter marker. Okay, So depending on where you want the project or the chapter to start, I'm going to use this button right here. It says Set on Core Chapter Marker. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now you see the little red icon up above here that indicates that I now have a chapter in that area. I'm going to go ahead and drag it to the end of the next one, okay? and I'm going to set that up exactly where I want that to come in. So let's get to the very end here and put a chapter marker in. Okay, last step here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get that third chapter in here. So I go ahead and drag that over, get that all set accordingly, and you can use your arrow keys just to kind of time it exactly to where you want it to start. And I hit the chapter marker. Now, I'm all set up at this point. This is where I'm going to go ahead and save my project again. All right, and uh, click Save. Got everything arranged in here, audio and video. And my next step is to actually uh, send this over to Adobe Encore. That's going to be part two of our tutorial here. So that's where we end today. This is part one. You can follow us up with part two to uh, figure out how to send it over to Adobe Encore and complete the DVD authoring process. Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Red Hawk Media.